Hello everybody and welcome to Disrupted Suspension created by Mr. P. Kiwi. So a very big thank you to Mr. P. Kiwi and apologies to whoever it was who recommended this map because I've uh, somehow completely lost track of your name. So if it was you, thank you. And if it wasn't you, feel free to claim credit and, you know, fight about it down in the comments. Right, with that out the way, we're once again starting in a small, dark, dingy bit of back aperture corridor somewhere with a single unassuming door but the promise of cosmic ray spallation elements ahead, meaning we'll all be feeling very good about ourselves, or rather dizzy. I don't know which, because I still haven't actually thought to go ahead and look up what that actually means. Always fun to say spallation though, isn't it? God, try it now. Spallation. Uh, down here, into a bit of old, like, railway delivery type area. Uh, the description of this map said that this was originally intended to be part of a bigger series that for, at least for the time being, Mr. P. Kiwi has abandoned all interest in doing, so yeah, it might have something a bit confusing about this introduction to apparently a new mechanic, as it claims in the description at least. You're not gonna easily let me just get get up here, are you? Are these portalable at all? No, plywood tends not to be unless coated specifically in moon rock. What can we actually do? Why are you sparking? You're sparking so I look up. So I look up, add another bit of plywood, suspended. Is this a suspension clue in the title that we're supposed to disrupt? Do those mean put portals upon me? If we find, yeah. Yeah, clue in the title, disrupt the suspension. Cool, so, um, ooh, that's rather slidey. Weird. Okay, uh, no grip on the long full boots, apparently. Yeah, um, if that's the new mechanic, that's that's not new. It's admittedly pretty rare to see in a portal community map and nice to see in a portal community map, but this isn't new. This, this is Half-Life. This is classic Half-Life right here. And kids, believe it or not, at the time, this absolutely blew our minds. Yeah, actual, actual physics. Before then, the world was very non-physical. You kind of just ran about shooting things. And although Half-Life had you do quite a bit of that, this was amazing at the time. Still, still kind of fun. Again, you don't see this very often in a portal map. Um, that box is for me to leap off of, right? Hold on, if we can jump up onto you. Can I launch this ladder dramatically? No. Apparently, shell weighs about the same as a step ladder, though, so that's good to know. All right, uh, through here, then, we do actually have somewhere to go. That's like the little introduction. Oh, and hey, cave. There he is. Me, for, for 60 bucks. Limo? There was a limo ride? Dude, I was just told to get in the back of the van. So, immediately, loving the hammer work. Really, really do like any map that shows off the, um... Oh, what's that word? What is that word? Completely forgotten now. The, uh, the, the bigness. Yeah, that'll do. The bigness of Aperture. Yeah, such a grand, grand scaled place. I do love to see the bigness. Right, so what have we actually got going on in here? Uh, immediately, you make me want to look inside for buttons. You contain no buttons. How disappointing. And what have we got to do then? There's a random panel up there. Bouncy blue stuff. And I did notice whilst looking around for the speaker, that we've got a very, very high wall's worth of portallable surfaces. Right, so bouncy blue gel, very high walls of portallable surfaces, and an exit adjacent, meaning bloody great big flings are intended in this one. Okay, so we've got the bouncy blue gel over there. I see sparks indicating look here, and some more of those cables that we're probably supposed to disrupt the suspension of. And a lone panel up there connected to a door. That one immediately intrigues me. Is that something cool hidden there? Is there a quicker place to go rather than all the way back to the wall? Not really. We'll go all the way over to this bit of wall instead. Yeah, when I see a random lone door like this, you kind of have to go check it. Nope, what a complete waste of time. That was fine. Why can I come up here then? Probably to get a better look at this, right? So you want me to break those. Why do you want me to 
break those? What do they actually do? Physics will be involved, and probably the breaking of things. Breaking those will, will drop a load of iron girder work by the looks of it down onto this pipe because apparently this pipe is using vacuum tube technology to funnel the bouncy blue stuff about, causing an inconvenient wonk. Had no idea that the uh, gel tubes used vacuum technology. I assume they relied on, you know, fluid dynamics and other real world science that we never bother to touch in this game. Okay, so let's break that then, right? That'll turn off the vacuuming and there's a conveniently placed portable surface there and we'll actually have access to the bouncy blue stuff. So if I put a portal upon you, and upon you, upon you, upon you, really, portal, portal magnets kind of inconvenient there. Let's line that up a bit more. And there, sends that crashing down in an ever so dramatic fashion. Uh-huh, tube is now broken, and you are no longer at an inconvenient wonk, meaning we can actually make use of that. Right, let's start coating this entire space in the bouncy blue stuff, probably more importantly getting it on this middle podium type thing here because there's a very specific bit of angle there and that's usually an angle for a launch, right? Uh, we do have these rather grand tunnels we can go down. Nope. Decent level design prevents this so I'll have to find a different way to waste time. Perhaps there's another another door up there somewhere? Now nah, I'm sure I can find a better way to waste time than that. Uh, let's start coating absolutely everything in the blue bouncy stuff then. So if we have you coming out of there, does that coat this middle area for us? This middle area seems perfectly placed for a big, big bounce. So basically, blue gel everywhere, right? The more you coat the place in gel, the more options you have to play with the gel. And therefore, more likely that one of those options is in fact the correct one. Yeah, those angles there are perfectly aligned for making a mess in the middle here. Uh, so why do I have a massive wall of panel over here as well then? It's also a few panels on the floor. There was some over there as well. Why would you want over there bouncy when I could have here bouncy as well? Because thinking about it, that makes perfect sense. That's how we're going to get a good angle to have a good bounce, right? Let's uh, coat all of this down here in the bouncy blue stuff. Let's put a portal all the way up the top for maximum drop. One there. Let's have a quick look if that middle area is in fact nice and bouncy. It looks suitably bouncy. Uh, we're going to drop out of here, do portal replacement in midair, and enjoy a bloody great big fling. So what do I want to move to? I want to move to that like angular bit there, right? So, well, we want to reposition basically everything. Uh, probably, probably whilst bouncing. So drop out of you. Like so, then like there should be good. And there. Is that adequate bounce alignment? It should be all the way over. Just skimming past the old school sign. Very nice. Uh, this is apparently our exit. Is that actually the exit? I was hoping for more physics and not more cave. Okay, nothing down here. Um... Just an elaborate bit of corridor, I suppose. Oh, into even more elaborate Art Deco-styled old-school aperture. I do like these kind of design bits. You get to see how just just how pretentious this place actually was. Couple of awards. Shower Curtain Salesman of the 40s and 47. Best New Science Company. I want to put that one on the left. And the Grand potato -y and the Shower Curtain Award. The Showery. The Showery. Someone come up with a better gag line there for me. Uh, through here into yet more impressive bigness of old school aperture. Massive suspended science sphere. Warning of the deadly, deadly corrosive goo down there. And you. You're highlighted. Why are you highlighted? You're highlighted because that's important that way. And apart from that, just a massive catwalk structure. A massive catwalk structure with elevator controls. Why do I have the down? Down buttons are kind of rare. That means we're probably actually going to have to come down, right? Meaning we should probably actually go up first. All right, so how big is this? It looked um, really quite impressive from down below. This would also suggest another bloody great big fling is going to be necessary. Probably in that direction over that way. We're still going. Oh, there we are. Okay, cool. Uh, gets us up to almost level with the science sphere. We've got an exit. 
However, that exits bit of catwalk has also had its suspension disrupted. So what do you actually want me to do? You want me to drop down somewhere, fling out of you, flying dramatic yet gracefully over in that direction. Um, we need a great big falling you're a panel, aren't you? Are you a panel? You are a panel. So that's why we need to go all the way back down to actually create our long drop area. That's not technically going to be falling sign, so I'm not in conflict with you. It'll be dropping with intended style. Do you actually want me to walk all the way down? No, panels, panels. Convenient shortcutting panels. Good level design there. Some madman would walk all the way down, and um, to be honest, if I was looking for another way to waste time, I would probably be that madman. So let's put a portal upon you there. Let's use you to shortcut back down to here. Actually make use of this elevator down button. Like so. Which will come down all the way down here and it'll leave a place where we can put a panel at the bottom here. You thought I was going to do it then, didn't you? Yeah, we can put a portal on you there. Uh, did I leave... Did I not mess up the portals? That should give me a shortcut back up to the top, right? and conveniently leave a portal all the way down at the bottom of this elevator shaft. Uh, then in that case, we want to put the orange back on you there, like so. And, ignoring all precautionary signs, drop down here and hope that I can actually line up with this portal properly. Come on, take me. Yep, nice big dramatic fling over in this direction. Do enjoy a nice big fling, especially on the weekends. Alright, uh, so up here to a door of a handle, do you do anything? Nope. Which means you probably do. You do. Takes us into more random back corridor type areas. The amount of back corridor type area in Aperture alone, right? Place is huge. Um, is that deadliness? No, it's, it's just ankle deep dampness. Wait, is it ankle deep? Hold on one sec. Okay, cool. I don't have to use that filter again. That's getting a bit overplayed. Alright, uh, so... What do we do down here? Portable panels. I see more cables, perhaps wanting their suspension also disrupted. I like the way those tubes, uh, those cubes are flinging across there. Yes, very nice. Um, this is for ramp making, right? Because there's no other way to get up onto these raised platform bits. I do like the old. Um... Oh, hold on. Oh, a door lies. Haven't seen one of them for a while. I do like these like train train junction, train station-y type areas. Again, it's another clue to just how absolutely bigness the whole of Aperture was. There's some panels up there, some panels there, but we can't get anywhere yet. And I do see some go-this-way idiot indicator arrows to a vac tube. That will be my favourite kind of tube. Uh, so let's disrupt your suspension, yeah? If I'm allowed to put one there, which creates a nice little ramp for us to get up into here. Again, ever so slightly slidey. That one's rather jittery slidey. Oh, yep, okay. Bit of weird physics. Can't always trust them, especially since they're probably, you know, not supposed to be here. But yeah, back in the 90s, this was incredible. Believe it or not. Um, I have played Half-Life quite a bit, so I know exactly what you want me to do with these cubes. Also, we get to test something here. If I put you on there, one is not enough, right? So we get to actually prove, look, check it out. Shell weighs more than one weighted storage cube. Now we can actually do some science here and find out how much Shell weighs. So, one. If it takes all three, that just proves she's a girthy gal. Let's put you on here. Look at that. Shell is a beast. She weighs, she weighs at least three weighted storage cubes. She big. She's very, very big, and yeah, I've played Half-Life before. That is specifically to create a jumping off point protrusion, like so, which gets us across to this middle platform. Uh, then we can use you, and we can use you up there, get up to this higher level. Lots of cubes about the place. Any more things I'm supposed to be disrupting the suspension of? Or do we just head straight for everybody's innuendo-based tubing? Looks like we're going straight for the innuendo. I was hoping to be classier for just a moment longer. Uh, so that means you're probably the end of the map and you're going to in fact suck me off to completion. Ah yes, we've reached scientific climax once again. My favourite way to end a map. 
That was Disrupted Suspension, created by Mr. P. Kiwi. Some pretty easy but enjoyable flinging puzzles in that one, and very nice to see classic Half-Life physics puzzles used as well. Again, for some reason, that's oddly rare in Portal maps. You'd think they'd be a lot more common. So a very big thank you to Mr. P. Kiwi for that one. And a big thank you to... Insert username. ...for the recommendation. And now, if you'll all excuse me, I fancy some alone time with that tube. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you later.